afternoon everyone, it's Leanne again and I'm starting to um, get down to the last processes of building these journals. Now I've showed you that one, um, it's got the t um, coffee stained um, papers in it. Can you see? It's a bit dark in here. I just had to shut the blind because the sun was coming in and now it's getting a little bit darker in here. Anyway, there we go with that one. Now these journals here are the size of, I'll do it in inches if you like, it's four and a half. No, we'll do it in centimetres. I think centimetres, well, that one's ten and a half centimetres by 22. It's 22 centimetres by cut out. Of, well, these were two envelopes, so I just put them together. So, really, I shouldn't measure them because it all depends on what size your envelopes are. Anyway, that's the finished girl there. I don't even know why I keep getting that wrong. I'm not even facing the camera right. No, that way. There we go. And that's her. Now I'll put her away for a second because we're concentrating on this one. This one is exactly the same as the other one except it's red. They're both Christmassy colours but I've made these for next year um, because I'm going to start on the inside next year. I've done, folded the pages, put them in. There's six of these I think. Six, yes. I've also already put my needle marks in on my awl, if you use an awl or, an, or a nail, doesn't really matter. I use a large uh, needle. I'm just used to it so I keep using it. I wouldn't get one that big, they're dangerous. <laughs> but you want it thicker than a normal needle of course and um, I use that because I like it. So anyway, and I'm used to it. So you stick with what you know what is the result using it and uh, if it works for you you'll keep it because the results are so anyway so there's the second book now what I'm up to is gluing the pages so I'll take it out of the folder now these are the two envelopes that I told you about that I just fitted together with the flaps and then glued it down with uh, its own uh, sticky stuff that it had on there I'll put some washi tape in here now I see that's lifting a tiny bit so all you do is put a few dabs of glue on it to make sure it stays down, the bulk of it's staying down. And that's the folder. Okay. So we'll start on these pages. And we'll start gluing them down. And we'll do that pretty quickly because take the top off, it always gets a little bit of a top. So the page is fit, we've checked it all out and then just throw a little bit of a glue there and there like that. And there you go, it's glued down. See? Look. It's all glued down. That glue is really good. I, I can't remember where I got it from. Super tack anyway. Super tack glue. Next page. So we'll continue doing this. If you get bored, just turn the um, music on or something. I don't know how to edit or fast forward these videos yet. I haven't learned that, but I will in time. Uh, I'm not too fussed on it at the moment. I do go for long periods of time, but just put the radio on and listen to that while I finish this. Or just fast forward it. You know the gist of it, don't you? What I'm doing. They're all very smart people. And talented, of course. But it won't take long. 
these pages here, there's only six of them. Um, glue it down really well to the very edge because that's what lifts most of the time with the edges, aren't they? Now I coffee dyed this paper and I also put a little bit of a stain in it. I think it was a, gosh, I can't remember now. Um, the stain, oh, honey. It was honey, that's right. It was a distress stain and it was called honey. And um, and I'm not sure whether I've done it right. I just did it, and I accept what it looks like, and I think that's what it is. We shouldn't criticise anyone for doing having a go and getting something that they've done themselves and they've achieved, even though it's a process other people have and. Um, or you read it in a book or you learn it online. It's all designed to help everyone. And we're helping everyone too. People that use these little tips and tricks and help how to do this and how to do that. It all goes back into the melting pot, doesn't it? Anyway, there we go. We've done that. Now, what we're up to is the last step. Now, just tape, uh, glue these down. Like I said, the tape is just starting to spit a bit up. And this will help it enormously. That's a beautiful day here. Um, my husband's not home yet. He's gone down to see if their house is being built. And um, it's getting built. It's a transport of woods. It's not a full house. It's a little granny flat. And uh, he's gone down to see how it's progressing. And he's going to take some photos. And we'll get to see what it looks like. Anyway, there we go. So I got rid of him. And what we're going to do is they're not all the same length up here and if it's dramatically different well of course you'll cut them down a bit uh, slightly but as long as the bottom's flat and you have one area that looks ordered and organized that's good now I think that's pretty good there I think the paper shrunk in the oven and that's part of the problem just keep your bottom still uh, and flat and I think that it will look okay. Now I'm using some, now uh, what we're going to do is sew it uh, into the spine. So I'm going to use some embroidery cotton. It's thicker than normal cotton. Uh, it's red. It's going to match the red. I use green on the other one to match the green. I'm going to take some and I always cut too much of this and I'll waste it. It's really annoying when I do that. I do keep them most of the time. Pieces that are too, you know, that I've cut off. Anyway, there we go. We've threaded it. Thread it. I'm trying to have clear addiction. <laughs> it's, it's funny with the Aussie slang though, isn't it? Anyway, there we go. We're going to go through the middle of the paper first. Now, if we've tapped it all down again and hold it very firmly with our fingers, we should be able to go through that hole that we made in the paper. And it should easily, sort of, come through. Nope, that hasn't come through. So, if that's not the case, let me go one at a time, just like that. See that? Just lift the pages up bit by bit in an orderly way. Hang on a minute, what happened there? Right, now we're through. Oh, we're through. So, we'll just do that. And go through the pages. Right. And then we'll take it through the book. 
Give it tall as well. And there we go. Now I'm just going to have to go because my phone's going and I know it'll be important. So I'll be back shortly.